Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today we're going to be taking a look at NDI Studio Monitor. Now this is a free application that's available off of our website and it allows you to view full resolution NDI video across your network onto your computer. So you can have any computer on your network connected to say a large panel monitor, a projector, or even a jumbotron and display full resolution NDI video to whatever device you want to see. So let's take a look. So starting off over here on my laptop, let's go ahead and find the application which is under New Tech NDI Tools. We'll go ahead and run that. And first thing I want to mention is as soon as you start up NDI Studio Monitor, you'll see that we have a QR code here at the bottom of the screen or an IP address. Now that's for if you want to control uh, NDI Studio Monitor uh, off of any wireless device. So you can just scan that code or enter in the IP address to say Safari on your um, iPhone for example and then you can switch any sources that are being run off of NDI Studio Monitor in your studio environment. So kind of a, a wireless way to change some of these sources. So uh, let's go through some of the basics here. Uh, so on the top left corner we have this little box with three lines on it and this allows us to view any live NDI video source coming across our network. So for example let me go ahead and see what's going on on the weather on my NC1IO. Alright, temperatures are looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to use the output coming from my TriCaster TC1 into this production here. So here I am on my virtual set coming from my TriCaster into NDI Studio Monitor. So you'll see above I'm using the Mix1 output which is going to be my program and so I have a little tally bar across that and also you can see my audio meters. Now this is some of the basics as far as um, of just being able to select some of these but let's go through and look at a little bit more detail. So uh, underneath, I mean these are just the sources for, that you choose from to view but under settings we have a whole bunch of different uh, choices to choose from here. Uh, one is just different ways for you to control it for example, the, the application itself. Uh, under the audio side, just, you, know, you can decide if you want it to be just silent coming through or we can also boost some audio levels as we need. On the video side, we can show the alpha channels. We can add even some uh, center crosses or different options to uh, just to align uh, your video. And the newest feature that I like a lot is going to be an overlay. So now we can add an overlay to your production signal. So for example here, I'm going to leave this as picture in picture and it will appear in the bottom right corner of our screen. So let me go ahead and grab my, I'll just use the same output here, so TC1 and mix number one. Boom, so now I have a picture in picture of my picture in picture. Uh, so I mean, you can see different uh, ways we can use this, like for example, I can have a remote caller coming in or I can share my screen, like if I'm doing some uh, gaming, etc., and then just have me appear at the bottom of the screen as an overlay, so cool stuff. I uh, also want to mention, let's get that out of there. Yep, we don't need you. Get out. Uh, now I also want to mention over here on the output side we can make this just a floating window or I can full screen it this way which is a, a good way to if you want to just send this output directly to one of your large panel monitors or projector. Now also under settings we can also control our PTZ cameras. This is going to be pretty cool y'all. Alright so I'm going to select my NDI PTZ camera and let's take a look what's going on over there. And boom, I got a few action figures over here for us to check out. So I can go ahead and manipulate the settings of my NDI camera from here, adjust my focus, my zoom, my positioning, etc. And then I can even have presets set up here to where I can then just recall shots with a click of a button. So I can say I want this shot to be number one. I'll say click store number one and then move that camera over and select different positions for those as well. Pretty cool stuff. So again, this application is 100% free. I highly recommend it. It gets you playing around with NDI right away and being able to view live NDI video sources on your computer monitor. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly and I'll show you some more of the ins and outs of the TriCaster systems. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.